Hey, welcome back to the show. Jack Scalfani here and you're cooking with Jack. Can you believe it? I have reached 2,000 subscribers already on the show. It's so exciting. You guys are great. It's because of you that I have the subscribers. So uh, just keep the emails coming and send me uh, any questions or comments you might have about the show so that we can make the show better for you. Do you like what I'm wearing? Do you know what today is? Today is football finger food day. And this is part one of a two-part series that we're going to be doing. So we're going to show you some good, quick, and easy football food so that you can make it in the kitchen and get there by kickoff because football season's just about ready to begin. I know you can't tell what my favorite team is. This is just an ESPN jersey. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to try and guess what my favorite National Football League team is, okay? This is American football for those of you in other countries. It's an American football team. What is my favorite team? And send that in and, and uh, we'll let you know who the first person is with the right answer. Okay, let's answer a few questions first of all. Uh, the last question I had for you was the scissors, these, these shears. Inside the shears are these metal teeth, ouch, uh, that were for something. And I asked you guys to tell me what you thought it was for. Now we got three good answers on this. Okay, the first one Oh, by the way, there were some bad ones too, but I can't mention those on the air. Uh, the first one was cracking crab legs, which it made sense. The other one is cracking nuts, which might be a little difficult to kind of hold it in place. And the other one is for opening bottles. You grab onto it and you, and you open bottles. So I got on the phone and I called Wusthof, which is a number one cutlery manufacturer, and I asked them, I said, on your cooking shears, you have this metal thing in here, what's it for? They said it's for opening bottles. So that is the correct answer. According to Wusthof, the cutlery manufacturer, that's what they say it's for. So you can use it for whatever you want. It's your pair of scissors, so, you know, have fun. All right, now let's get to... It's time for... Oh, wait. Hold on. Take it easy. Relax. I haven't even picked up my paper yet. It's time. Hold on a minute. Just take... It's... Easy. Okay. Go ahead. It's time for viewer mail. All right. They just get like over the top in the production studio. Okay, so I have viewer mail here. And the first one comes from uh, Pure Fiction. Pure Fiction uh, had wrote me and says uh, about the water from New York. I've been trying to get water from New York to do the California pizza versus the New York pizza. And he was kind enough to offer to send me water. I appreciate it, pure fiction, but I've got the water. It finally arrived. I took it to the, uh, to the restaurant. They're going to start making the dough and get it ready. And then next week, we're going to do the California pizza versus the New York pizza and see if New York water makes a difference, okay? Thanks again, pure fiction. Also, people these days says, hey, Jack, did you ever eat any of the bull blanks? <laughs> you know, the bull things that were in Vegas? Okay. Or kangaroo meat or alligator meat. Alligator meat. Did I just say alligator meat? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Is that my English teacher on the phone? All right. Alligator meat. If so, how was it? Oh, and cool video. Thanks, people, these days. I did not taste any of the funky meats. Didn't have time. I might have, but it would have taken too long to defrost and cook. And we were on the road. I had to get to the casinos because buffet time. You know what I'm talking about. All right. And then Night Wolf MK3 writes me. And in the All About Steak video, he says he saw a package that says, or something that said dog bones in the cooler. Okay, the funny thing is, a lot of people thought that those were dog bones. And they're bones for dogs. They put dog bones, but they're just like beef bones or whatever bones that you can give to your dogs. So you can buy it at the butcher shop. That's pretty funny. I can't believe it. And then, Anime Freak Forever, thank you for writing. I used to call my van the rib mobile, but honestly, he thinks it should be called the sauce mobile. So I'm officially changing my van to be the sauce mobile. And thank you for Anime Freak Forever for naming that. That is truly the correct name that it should be, and I appreciate that. And then last uh, is Wow Death Nighting. Wow Death Nighting says, Hey, I was making your rice pudding and I scraped the rice off the bottom. All right, the pudding's in the fridge. Will it ruin it? Okay, so the reason why you, in the rice pudding video, when you're stirring it, I say don't, you know, if it sticks or burns on the bottom, just leave it. 
don't scrape it because you'll take all that burnt pieces and get it in the white rice pudding and you'll see specks. It's not going to kill you. It's still going to taste good. It's just not going to look as, as beautiful. So if you get some dark specks, just kind of pop them out of there with a spoon or something and then chill in the fridge. If it's already in the fridge, enjoy. You probably don't see it. It's going to come out great. Now it's time to get into the real nitty gritty, the food, okay? We're going to do three football finger foods. The first one we're going to do is going to be barbecue hot wings. Mmm, love that. Second one's going to be, uh, it's going to be called cheese crisps. It's going to look very similar to like a quesadilla. I'll show you how to make them. They're, they're kind of quicker and easier and, and really delicious. Uh, we're going to be making those. And then the last thing we're going to be making is uh, kind of a dip, kind of a spread for crackers, and that's really good too. So let's get in close, and we're going to start with the barbecue hot wings. Now, I'm not sure what kind of chicken wings you guys buy. I get it in the whole, I buy the chicken wing that is whole. So you have the three sections. This is kind of a bony part. This is kind of the, the double bone part. And then here it looks like a, a little drumette, okay? Normally, they'll cut this and you get the drumettes and the double bone piece and they just throw these out. You'll get like a five pound bag of these. Me personally, I prefer the whole wing. That's how I grew up. It's the only reason why. So I buy them in the package where it's one whole wing, okay? Plus it gives you a little handle. Look, see, got a handle. So you can really chow down right away. So get whatever you like. It can be the drumettes, it can be the double bone, it can be whole like this. Place it on a cookie sheet that has a little bit of a lip in case there's grease, okay? And I put a non-stick spray on the pan so that it doesn't stick, so I'm not ripping chicken off the, off the pan. If you're a real freak about non-stick sprays and chemicals and that kind of thing, then just take butter and grease the whole pan. It doesn't matter. Whatever you like, just do it. Make sure it doesn't stick. We're going to place this with the broiler flame. I've explained to you guys what the broiler flame is. Uh, it will brown this on one side and then we'll flip it and we'll brown it on another side. You can also throw these on the grill. You don't have to put these in the oven. I'm putting it in the oven. You can just cook these on the grill. You want the outside to be crispy, but the inside will still be moist. So you want the hotter the better, okay? These things cook fairly quick. We're gonna use a broiler. You can use the grill outside if you want. Let's pop these in the oven. We'll bring these back out and we'll show you. You're gonna brown one side and get them all crispy. You're gonna flip them and you're gonna brown the other side. And then we'll bring it back and we'll show you how to sauce it up. Now, some of you may claim this to be like quesadillas whatever send the emails tell me their quesadillas that's fine but i know one thing i don't put butter in my quesadilla so we call these cheese crisps i used to make these when i was a little boy and still do so you're gonna need butter your favorite shredded cheese this one i'm using is a mexican blend and an onion okay first thing you want to do is peel your onion you're gonna dice this up and yes some of you like to see me use that slap chop so yes, I use it at home. I usually, I do use it on onions. We're just gonna pop it right on there. We're place it down. There we go. Easy as pie. Now we got our onions all chopped up. We're gonna start preparing it. By the way, I'm not cutting on my counter, everybody. I have one of these cutting sheets. I dig on these things. They're way better than using a cutting board. Use a cutting board, pieces of the cutting board tend to get into your food, and I can't stand that. These sheets, you can get three for like a dollar, and they last forever. I've been using this one for like five, six videos already. So they're called cutting sheets. Try them out. You'll love them. Next thing you do is get your tortilla. Make sure it's room temperature. You don't want to be using a cold tortilla. It tends to be harder and not quite as flexible. Take a little bit of butter going to spread this out not too heavy just put a light film all over it all grab the cheese put as little or as much as you want I can see the emails coming already oh my gosh look how much cheese he's using yeah well it's my cheese crisp you can use as little as you want put the cheese on first take a little bit of onions you're gonna want to sprinkle that however you like right on top okay there you go I like a little bit more onion. Now let's take this over to the hot pan and I'm going to show you how to cook this up. So now we got a high flame. Just watch it carefully. You're going to wait for the, you're going to use a spatula to check it. You're going to wait for the butter to melt on the tortilla. Sometimes I like to move it around a little bit, make sure it's not sticking, just in the very beginning stages. 
Okay, so let that get some heat on it and we'll check it in just a moment. All right, as you can see, the butter's melting, but the cheese isn't just yet. And that's okay, we're gonna do something interesting in a moment. You see that the outside's getting a little crispy. See how it all moves, it's almost one now. Okay, and here's the key part. You can take your finger here. You're gonna fold this bad boy in half right now. Now the butter's all. And just press it down a little bit. Just like you would a quesadilla. The whole idea is getting this thing crispy. Okay, now once again, keep checking. See those brown spots underneath there? It's getting close. However you like it, you like it crispier or not. I'm gonna give it a flip. I like a light brown bottom. See that light brown bottom right there? All right, so we're gonna flip it. There we go, that's beautiful. We're gonna brown the other side just like this. It's got a hard exterior now. That's why it's called cheese crisps. So you put two or three of those on a plate. You pour a little bit of your favorite salsa in a bowl. There we go. You're going to dip those cheese crisps right in that salsa. It's going to be absolutely delicious. The cold salsa with a piping hot cheese crisp, it's going to be beautiful. Look at that. Just balance it right on the end there. <laughs> I'm so talented when it comes to food. And try it out. Mmm. Oh my goodness. The game hasn't even started yet and I'm chowing down. All right, here, I'm gonna leave this here for you. If you want some, just help yourself. <laughs> just kidding. All right, I'm gonna check on the wings, see how those are doing, and then we'll move on to number three, fin uh, football finger food, and we'll get that started while the wings are still cooking. You're watching The Cooking with Jack Show. We'll be right back, right after this message. Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here to tell you about my line of sauces. It's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. It's so good, we made a hot one. There it is. If that's not good enough, we made the best teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. Bam! And to make it even better, we just released the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Go to thebestsauces.com, 100% guarantee, we do free shipping anywhere in the United States. Go to thebestsauces.com, I'll be there waiting for you. And now, back to the Cooking with Jack show. Now, once again, the broiler flames underneath. You can bake these too if you want. See how they're becoming golden brown? Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna flip those. In fact, you know what, I'll flip them right now. They're nice and crispy on the skin. There we go. Flip those bad boys. We're gonna slide those back in the oven. Once again, make sure your rack is about halfway down. These things will burn if you get too close to the broiler flame. Broiler flame's right underneath. Here we go. Pop those bad boys right back in there. We'll check you in a minute. All right, those chicken wings look delicious. We're gonna get to those in a minute. Here's the third one we're gonna make. This is called, I don't even know what it's called. It's just called kind of cream cheese thingy. We're gonna call it cream cheese thingy. All I know is my wife makes it, it's delicious. And that's all guys really care about when they're watching football. They don't care, they stick their hand in food and it's just gotta be delicious. Cream cheese, any type of cracker you like, any type of salsa you like. The key to this being good is that this has to be room temperature. You want this cheese soft. Don't microwave it, don't boil it, don't, don't soften it other than room temperature. When it's room temperature, it's gonna be beautiful. Let's show you how we set this up. There we go. Now for presentation purposes, try not to smush it. Watch me smush it. I know, what's smush? I'm gonna get tons of those emails. You wanna just plop it gently on the plate like that. This is so easy. And then you're just gonna douse it with your favorite salsa. Check this out, this isn't even my salsa, but it says Jack's Special Salsa. Doesn't that crack you up? But it's, some, it's somebody else's brand. All right, and then you're just gonna pour this on there. Don't worry about the water. Let it all get come on top right there. Now what's gonna happen is, when you get your crackers, you're gonna wanna spread that out just a little bit. Once again, for presentation purposes. You just want to cover it like that. It looks gross, but it tastes delicious. Now guys, listen carefully. This is etiquette. If you have company over, don't take your cracker and dig in and take a big chunk. If you have company over, grab one of these. I'm sure you've never seen this before. It's a butter knife, all right? If you're by yourself, have at it. If you have company over, just grab a little bit, okay? A little bit of salsa, a little bit of cream cheese, all right? 
make a plate full of those, it's delicious. See how this tastes. You would never think those two would go together. They're amazing together. It's like my dips video. Here's another one you can add to the dips. Try it, write me, and let me know what you think, okay? Mmm, I can smell the chicken wings. Let's go check to see if those are done, and we'll sauce those up, and then we'll have tons of food to go eat and watch the game. The wings are done. You can tell because these tips are real crispy. See this little they're browning everywhere. It just looks delicious. Look, they're not even sticking to the pan. They're beautiful. All right, all you do, take the container, throw them in there. This is how I do it. If you want to get the grill me messy, then go ahead and sauce them up and throw them back on the grill. But I don't have time because the game's starting in like a few minutes. So I'm going to throw these in here. There we go. All right. Then I'm going to take the best hot barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. My version, my brand. You can use any, any type of buffalo wing sauce you want. You don't have to use mine. I prefer mine. There we go. Much better. Get the seal off there. Now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Comes out. Look at all the seasoning in there too. I'm going to pour this all on there. I'm all about shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake. Wow, look at them bad boys. That's going to be awesome. Wow, I don't know what you guys are going to eat. I'm eating this whole plate. All right, so let's give this a taste. Let's see which one of these I'm going to try. Here we go. They're crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. My mouth's watering. And they're burning my fingers right now. Very hot. Mmm. Mmm. I have it all over my face now. Okay. Perfect. This is amazing football food. There you go. Football finger food. Do I have any steel there? Yeah? Okay. First one. Barbecue hot wings. Delicious. Then the second one we did was beautiful cheese crisps. Dip it in salsa. And the third one is salsa and cream cheese with crackers. It all works. This is part one. We'll come back soon with part two. And don't forget, we got the pizza competition coming up on the next Cooking with Jack.